Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. Happy Monday. I hope you're doing amazing. Well, today we're talking about the Doherty Dozen shopping adventure. You knew it was going to come. I got like 400,000 messages about this damn shopping spree for Christmas. Apparently she spent something like, what, 30 grand? We'll take a look at it today. Of course we knew this. This is all she has left. She has no ability to make good content, and so she just does this because it's shock value. And it's bullshit. So let's talk about it. Before we get to it, we got to spin the wheel, do a little dance. Someone's going to win a prize because it is Snarkmas. Doherty D's Nuts December. Yeah, baby. It's Wesley! Holy smokes! Wesley's OG. He's been here for a long time. Congrats, buddy. Reach out to me with your email, shirt size, and your address, and I will hook you up. Let's go! So... I'm not, you're, you're not new here. You're here to watch Doherty doesn't get snarked on, and that's what we're gonna do. So Alicia's going shopping. Let's take a look at this 55 minute video. Oh my God, I can't. Like what else could she possibly buy for these kids? They have everything. They And I purposely did not wanna know what was in this video. I am blind reacting because I don't know what she can buy them. Obviously she's gonna get them expensive clothes because that's what she does every time, and you know, clothes are clothes. But they already just got new phones, so. Okay. Hi everyone, it's Alicia with the Dockerty Dozen, and today I am Christmas. Where's the intro? A lush. Are you getting mad at my songs? Because I'm gonna continue to do the songs anyway. Shopping for my 12 kids. I know I am so late on this this year. We've been really busy. We went to New York City at the beginning mm -hmm. of the month. We were getting back into like all of our winter sports and activities for the kids, and just adjusting to all of that. So now. I'm like way behind in Christmas. Where's the intro? Christmas shopping, so I have a lot to do today, and we have to do this fast. So let's Why? go. But first, um, coffee. F off, asshole. She didn't do it, so I'm gonna have to put it in because we gotta do a song. So here you go. First day of Christmas, a lush was sent to me a table of cold spaghetti. Those ovaries. Four burnt birds, three trips to Wegmans, two ugly thumbs, and a table of cold spaghetti. On the ninth day of Christmas, a lush was sent to me. Nine TikTok dances, eight yapples wilting, seven days of filming, six brands of bang, five ovaries. Four burnt birds, three trips to Wegmans, two turtle thumbs. <laughs> And a table of cold spaghetti. On the tenth day of Christmas, a lush was sent to me. Ten carts of heaping, nine TikTok dances, eight yapples wilting, seven days of filming, six brands of bang, five pounds of cheese. Four burnt birds, three trips to Wegmans, two ugly thumbs, and a table of cold spaghetti. On the 11th day of Christmas, a lush is sent to me. 11 cards of swiping, 10 cards of heaping, 9 TikTok dances, 8 yapples wilting, 7 days of filming, 6 bands of ping, 5 pounds of cheese. 4 burnt birds, 3 trips to Wegmans, 2 ugly thumbs, and a table of cold spaghetti. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. On the 12th day of Christmas, a lush is sent to me. Twelve white cloths chugging, ten carts a heaping, nine TikTok dances, eight yapples wilting, seven days of filming, six brands of ping, five pounds of cheese with a side of Pam's ovaries, four burnt birds, three trips to Wegmans, and two ugly thumbs, and a table of cold spaghetti. Just because you didn't put the title in Alicia doesn't mean I'm not going to do a snark on it. You can't get away from this. I Here's all the lists. Have all of their Christmas lists. Nike, Nike shoes, Nike, Nike gloves, Nike. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to bring them in with me because I pretty much know. 
All right, Nike shoes. Nike football gloves. They already got they already have all this shit. A snowboard, a chain, gold, all black Ru Rusus wrestling shoes, football bracelets, rubber, a shirt that says I love Morrison. Okay. Time spent with family. Whose is that one? What they want. That's Deshaun's. Um Deshaun's Christmas list. That I already bought. Yeah, you already got all that shit. Uh, ten and a half. Okay. Holy, someone's got nice writing. <laughs> Bree's list. Holy, that's really nice. Bree, you got great writing. Just like... See, Bree is like... She just wants... For her baby, like, toy things. That's... That's... Okay. Cutest thing ever. Uh, um... I don't know whose that is. iPhone. Why do you need an iPhone? You just got an iPhone! Patrick! Oh, so Patrick didn't get an iPhone. Okay, Jordan. She skipped one, by the way. She didn't want to show you the one underneath that. I wonder whose that was. AirPods, phone for Jordan. No, your kids... She bought just bought 12 phones. Who were the two kids that didn't get the phones? Was it just the twins? Who got the phones? No, Jordan made this other list, too. Yeah. Um, okay, Bodie's list, Rainbow Friends, everything, which I had ordered on Black. <laughs> Papers are all full of dirt and shit. Friday. Oh my gosh, you guys have to see Harley's list. Look at Harley's list. Okay, well, you wrote for Bodie's list. Why didn't you write, write for Harley's list? We get it. Which I get what you're trying to hear. Okay. It says, My Little Pony. So I had done a little bit of shopping on Black Friday with Josh. That is. <sighs> Eyeliner in a previous vlog that I will link in the description of this video. So now we have to finish. Where's your Christmas list? Here's my Christmas wish list for Alicia. Water. That's it. That's that's it's on the list. Just drink more water. Like, I, I feel like you stepped out in too much of a wind. You just blow away into a dust. Shh, shopping. Okay, we can do it. I'm just gearing myself up. Let's go. Shut your pie hole. You're going shopping. This is what you'd love to do. This is your favorite thing on earth to do. What do you mean bracing yourself? F off. Starting at dicks. Because You're a dick, Burn. Deshaun and Alex want shoes. I don't know if they carry them here. I probably have to. Again, they don't need shoes. These kids in the last year have already gotten, I think, what, three new pairs of shoes already? Come on now. Relax. Go to the specialty, specialty store in the mall. But not for Christmas. The Twins' first basketball game is on Saturday, and they need basketball shoes. No. Are you telling me they've been practicing without basketball shoes? I don't believe you. And of course they have basketball shoes. It's probably the first thing you bought them. They do have basketball shoes. Are you going to get them for Christmas, or is this just for basketball? And I did bring Deshaun and Alex's... So Deshaun says Air Four, Air Jordan Four Retro Midnight. Here's the thing that's really, really scary about the Deshaun and Nevaeh thing. Okay, they're not supposed to be living here forever. This was just supposed to be a temporary situation, and if they ever go home, there's no way that they're going to be getting shit like that. It's really, really heartbreaking. When you foster children that aren't going to be staying with you, I feel like there should be probably rules in place for the amount of shit you get them, right? Because the expectations are set, they might not want to go home. But the whole point of that fostering and this kinship thing is to reunite with the parents, right? Get the parents the help they need, then get reunited. This is this this is dangerous what she's doing. And then Alex's hoodies XXL, expensive chain, expensive chain. The hell? Like why do they all want chains all of a sudden? And why is it expensive? See, they don't even. If you're if you're researching something that you want, I want this type of chain from this place, whatever, right? Except it's slow. Just get me the expensive one. Oh, so it, it, it this is what they think. This is what they think is value. Just because it's expensive, it's valuable. I mean, to a degree, it's true. But they're not. They're just like get me this thing because somebody because I want to look like this. This is what Alicia's teaching her children. This is shit because this ain't gonna last. Nike Dunks size 13, Jordan 4 size. So she needs her and Deshaun and his list are almost the same. Nike let I don't know what that is. Biomom is in town. Uh, put, uh, something to put a lock for my I think that's put a lock on my door. 
He wants a lock for his door. Okay. Jeez. He's a teenager, so... Sure. So it's me only because they want like very specific. Yeah, lock for my door. Specific and she's showing that on purpose, by the way. This is gross. It's like a university blue and midnight navy. All right, let's look at. They're not gonna be there. Girl shoes first. Now the twins are in that right in between youth sizes and men's sizes, but I'm gonna look at the men's inventory first. $120 for kids playing basketball. They already have shoes, man. And this isn't for Christmas. This is just like, here you go. You have a basketball game. Here's $120 sneakers. Holy shit. And Jason wanted gold. So. Ugh. We did the white one for Jordan and the black one for Jason. Her fingers, you know, like when you get like a shiver from seeing someone like get cut or something in their gash, and you're like, oh, shivers, you know? Whenever I see her hands, it gives me shivers. Let's try that. Let's see if they have it in a six. Come on. Why isn't it scanning? Because you're dumb. There we go. Holy shit, that was loud. Nope. Eight is the smallest. Let's see if they have the white. Holy! Oh my god, Alyssa, are you kidding me? No, the smallest they have is a men's seven and a half. Okay, let's go over to the youth section. Why, right, why did you put that section. in? Why did you put that in? There was no reason to put that in. You're not getting those. Cut out to the part where you're getting the thing. And now, let's see if Just get inside. to the machine. Yes. They do. Okay. Okay, you didn't press it. You didn't press it! Dreams, I need two of these. Oh my god, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it, man. Football. The twins I know specifically just got football gloves. Already got them and new footballs. One of the footballs was $150. They don't need more gloves, lady. Stop doing this. If they're losing them and getting them stolen, then that's their responsibility. Sucks to be you. No gloves for you or you can get cheap ones. Gloves. Let's see, look at these gold ones for Jason. Um. I feel like Jordan already has every pair over here. So why are you getting more $65 gloves if he already has every one of them? <laughs> oh my god. These are cool though. I like those. Get those. Did Jordan play football or something? Hmm. Just pick some! Oh, oh my god. Yeah, I like those. Just on gloves. $300 just on gloves. And it's not even started yet. She's got about $250 worth of clothes in the cart right now. Sorry, way more than that. Because she got two pairs of shoes that are probably 100 bucks a piece. She's probably got about $600 in the cart. Adding, she's almost probably close to 900 bucks at Dick's. Just at Dick's. These are cool. Those are not cool. Like those, those are ugly. Okay. Toothpaste. No thanks. Alex. Alright. Alex. Alex is not a receiver. Why does he need receiver's gloves? Is he a receiver? There's no way he's a receiver. Deshaun. Oh my god. Alright, Alex also wanted some of the headbands. Let's look at him some of these. $20 headbands. Just get one. You don't need three headbands. 60 bucks just in headbands. <clears throat> All right, I grabbed one more outfit for Dash because he's totally gonna love this Minecraft-y colored outfit. That's probably 100 bucks. Okay, I'm gonna go pay, put this stuff in the car, and hang it to the mall. You, I didn't even see those. <laughs> it's probably 40 bucks a piece. Those are real ones. Maybe, or 50, 60 bucks a piece. 
I guess we'll see the price here in a second. See, right. I, see why it's close to 900 bucks. So your total for everything is $681 oh. even. Still, holy shit, $680? Where are the shoes that she bought? Did she not get the shoes? That's because I skipped it. Okay, let's go the I don't see the shoes. Keep All right. See, she cut that. She cuts. I know she cuts. Come on now. I'm going to check out this store. Stop going to the store. It's garbage. For this specific thing that Jason wants. Do you have a Rick and Morty portal gun? Sorry. No. Darn it. Okay. Thanks. He's like, no, and I hate you. I've seen your show. It's garbage. I watched that George podcast. He's funny. Yeah. How okay. much is that? That's probably 150 bucks. Okay, so this will be for Jason. So let's get him some more figurines. Okay, this isn't on his Christmas list, Alicia. He wanted a Rick and Morty thingy. This is not on the list. This is so dumb. Okay, I'm gonna go put these in the van now and come back in. Uh, Lock your shit. Okay, I moved my car, my van a little closer too, so now I don't have to go up quite so far. It is snowing and it's Hope you fall right on your freaking distressed jeans ass. Get a big wet mark. Slippery. Right onto a cigarette butt. Out here. It's our first like storm of the season. Which probably works in my favor because there's barely anyone here at the mall. Normally, Christmas time, you can't even find a parking spot here. <laughs> okay. Alright, several of the kids want chains like necklaces so i'm gonna go to this little jewelry kiosk and see what they have but first we're gonna admire this christmas display okay you small shitty okay, this works out because the jewelry don't film people the kiosk is right next to bath and body works which is what nevaeh wants okay pumpkin apples so i bought like 30 of those this year so i stocked up because i know they don't keep the good ones in they're expensive <laughs> Make sure it's expensive. Hey, what do you have here that's expensive? Well, here you go. Like, what do they want? Expensive. Like, do they want, you know, Cuban chain? What do they want? Expensive. Okay, I, I can't help you, lady. You're, I, I, you suck. It's cold. Cold. Just get them fake gold. Who cares? Or plated. Kids are going to lose it anyway. They're going to lose it. Okay. Oh, these aren't bad. Like 35 bucks, 85 bucks. The b most expensive one I can see in this is like 220, which is damn. Don't get the nothing over 50 for a kid's silver chain because they are going to lose it. Like if your kids old, like the older kids, like Deshaun, Alex, them. Yeah, fine. Sure. Get them chains. Don't get little kids chains that they're going to lose. Here we go. And if, because, and because they're going to lose them, you get them cheap ones. Okay, so expensive, silver. Expensive chain. For Alex. Um, gold for Deshaun. Um, my 16 year old son wants a um, at least a 20 inch. How do you just do how do you do this? You just sit there and talk to them. So I'd like a gold chain and I'd like a, you know, a silver chain as well. They're like adult sized. And then like is this not weird? Is that not weird to anybody else? You're just holding up the damn phone. Maybe a little longer, depending on how tall they are and where they want it to fall. 20 inches is going to be like around here, 22 and longer would be like mid chest. Um, I'm going to go for the silver chain. Okay, so the silver chain is going to be like. No, don't get mid chest chains for kids. Are they in the mafia or something? They have chest hair? No. So. Hey, the chunkier, the better on a bigger kid. Okay, Alex wants a chain, you get him a chunkier chain. Shit, this is, <laughs> damn it. Again, for the older kids, sure. I mean, this is Christmas. I get that. It's not, that's a, that's a decent gift for a kid if they want it. But the idea that he's like expensive. So is, are you going to leave the price tag on? Make sure he knows it's expensive? I don't understand what you're going to do. You know what's I mean, they like the bigger ones, so. Why is she talking like that? Yeah, I guess the biggest one that you have. Uh, yeah. Yeah. 
please. Not the rope, not the rope, the Cuban link. Yeah, that one. What's this bigger one? What size is that? 375. Duh. Holy shit. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, so also, are, you're putting this out before Christmas. These kids are gonna know what they're getting for Christmas. I mean, they know what they're gonna get on their list because you're gonna buy what's on their damn list. So, like, I mean, they're not gonna be surprised. There's no joy in this family. None, none of that. None of the keeping secret what you're gonna get for Christmas. Maybe the little kids, but the older kids are gonna find out. Everybody at school is gonna know before even the kids get it. Like, this is almost dangerous too. Like, if you're gonna be flexing on the internet how much shit you buy your children, maybe just be a little careful. You are in New York State, so be careful. So that if the kids at school know that Alex wearing a $375 chain, he takes that off to get ready for football and someone goes and steals that. They know exactly how much it's worth because you put it on the internet. And I'll also get a 20 inch for my eight year old because he wants. No, no. The exact same thing my 16 year old has all the time. No, and here's why you don't do that. Because Alex would like to have his own thing. Why do you have to match the eight? Why does the eight year old get a damn chain because Alex got it? So maybe like this? $140 chain for an eight-year-old. Oh, it is? Okay. Whatever's the same. Same yeah. Please. Oh, baby. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's They're similar. Yeah, it doesn't have to be. Exact. You just said exact. Exact. You just said exact. Yeah. That's, none of those are the same. <laughs> Thanks, though. I, I like this one better. You like that one? Yeah, but I'll get this for the other twin. So, yeah, just look other. Yeah. Okay. So, both twins are getting chains, over $130 chains each, too. So that's Oh, my silver. God! And then I need gold, uh, also a 24-inch, like, larger gold. No. Deshaun's half the size of Alex. Please. And I'm going to text my son and see if he wants a charm. Nope. Hey, wait, I'm here getting the thing you want for Christmas, just so you're aware, so you're not going to be surprised at Christmas. Do you want a charm, too? Oh. My 24 chain that I'm going to bottom towards. $1,500. $1,600. So the ropes and then the lace <gasps> So Alex goes for the silver. It gets like, it's like $375, but because Deshaun wants a gold one, she's about to drop a grand? Okay. Oh, you did not do that. Don't do this. That is dangerous. Okay, so 20 inch gold for Deshaun. Um, what I like. This is gonna be the 649 one, but that's way too expensive. I think it says 870. 870. Okay. Oh my god. And now we have to see what Nevaeh would want. That's it. I need one for my daughter now. Like. You don't need anything else. Picky teenage 14 year old. <laughs> what are they <laughs> Get lost, lady. Wearing these days? Shut your damn teeth. <laughs> uh, this woman is crazy. 18 inches right here. Um, I got thinner ones also on that board. I don't know if you want her to have those. Okay. Just pick one. Jeez, I can't pick this stuff out. You just picked four chains out, totaling fifteen hundred eighty-five before tax. Really? I like. Oh no, I just messed it. Okay, I texted Alex. He does want a cross for his chain. So that's the bigger chain. Uh, so what do you have that will fit? Again, no, no surprises. What do you want? I'm getting the thing that you want exactly for Christmas. Tell me what else you want. I'm at the mall. I'm going to buy it right now. Like, 
Merry Christmas! No surprises! No, no magic of Christmas. It's all gone. Like, I feel like, I was thinking about this today, that when the poorer you are, depending on what kind of Christmas, because I remember growing up super poor, but Christmas is being amazing. I honestly think that the poorer you are, the better Christmas is if you, if it's a good Christmas. Does that make sense to you? Like rich kids grew up with everything and are spoiled rotten. Christmas doesn't have as, I don't think has as much joy or magic as if when you're broke and don't have anything and then you finally get a, like a Christmas. Does that make sense? So these kids aren't gonna, there's no joy here. There's no magic. It's, sad. it's so sad. Uh -huh. Shit. Any of these on this end as well? Uh, 21 across. Jordan, Jason, Alex, Nevaeh. Okay. You're done. Get on there, lady. Lena Charm for Deshaun now. Oh my God. Get one. Oh, okay. Buy one, get one. I like this one in the front that's on. Okay. So she just dropped nineteen hundred and fifteen dollars at the jewelry store plus six. What is it? Six ninety. So she's already at twenty six hundred dollars. Two spots, and has only shopped for like three, four kids. On there, I'm gonna go in here and get Nevaeh stuff. Right? She likes vanilla scented stuff. We've got little gift sets up there. There. That's cute. Okay, we'll add 30 bucks to that. To the Apple store. What? The school computers are not compatible with the sites they want to use? What is that supposed to mean? No. What is it that an iPad can do that a school computer can't do? Are you talking about the school computer locks them out of certain websites? Is that what you're saying to me right now? Like gaming sites and all the porn sites, all that stuff? Is that what you're saying? So you're, are you about to buy your kids iPads for school? Even though they have school computers. Uh, we want to get them iPads with keyboards to do their homework. Excuse me. You want to buy your kids iPads with keyboards so they can do their homework but they already have school computers. But the school computers are not compatible with websites? Are you, why are you lying? This is the worst lie you've ever said too. Like, what, do, you, are, do you think people are really this stupid? Why are you lying? Just get them where you're gonna get them and stop making excuses. You're looking for ways to spend money because this shit is what gets you views. It gets people talking about you. This is your plan. So stop your damned lying. You damned liar. All right, there is a line there, so I'm gonna go do some other shopping and come back around and see if um, it's not quite as busy. Just tell the truth for once in your damn life. Not compatible with some websites. What? There's another display. F off. And there's a random boat in the middle of the mall. Okay, here's the other store I'm coming to. Well, one of the other stores I'm coming to. I hey, I got it. Not need my kids would like Jordan Fours, okay. University Blue, okay. size thirteen. No. Okay. Nike Dunks. Listen, I don't know. I'm just gonna, just get me whatever the hell I'm gonna spend my. Money. They don't need both pairs. One pair is fine for Christmas. Prime size third. So imagine writing a list knowing you're gonna get that damn list and like older kids are getting $10,000 worth of stuff and the little kids are getting My Little Pony. Okay. 13. <laughs> 13 what? Don't forget, Alex got a Jeep. A Jeep. Let's see if I have a 13 like in this one. Is that midnight blue? Because that looks gross. That's baby blue. It looks ugly. Those are ugly. Sorry. Not my taste. It could be other people's taste, but I think they're 800. And, does that say $850? It looks like I do have a 13. Those are 550, if not. $500! More, I gotta double check. Okay. These ones, 10 and a half, might be around between four, 400 and 425. Nope. Nope. Not two, not two pairs then. What? Okay, and then... And then... All right, so I'm gonna get Nevaeh some too. He's looking for Deshaun and Alex. Oh, okay. So, but I do have... 
I'll show you. Those are those are ugly. You got University Blue size 13. Oh, University Blue. Okay, so it's Duke or something. Yes. Retro 11 for twin boys or girls? Boys. Okay. And she's getting. The, where? What about the other kids? Holy shit! But they like anything. They just okay. want anything. Um, it all depends on what you're looking for. And then we got. Are, are you big on the black, white Oreo, University Blue? Um, well, let's not, get the are, white for Jordan. This one here. Yeah. Didn't she just buy them basketball shoes at Dick's, or did she not get those? I shouldn't have skipped. I'm sorry. Okay, this is what you. Okay, you joined us. Uh, you're in grade five, like grade four basketball. Here's four hundred dollars shoes. The twins wanted. No, they didn't. You just made that shit up. You didn't. You said they want anything. He picked. And then she's like, "This is what the twins wanted." No, no, it's not. You're just making that up. I think that should be everything here. Yes. <laughs> How much? Okay, it's all of them. Yeah, so we got two in this bag, two in this bag, one in that bag. Hold on. Okay. No price, but they're going to be, I'm guessing, 500 bucks for the size 13s, 450 plus each of those are at least $250 for a pair of those. Jordan's that she bought the kids. Plus, Nevaeh's were probably another two, 250 I'm just, these are like conserved estimates. She's already at $4,300. I'll show you guys all these shoes in a moment. Let me find somewhere to put them down. Okay, that's Jordan, Jason, Nevaeh. Neve no. Dishon no. Alex. Holy shit, you idiot. Who's trying to talk shoe lingo with me, but I don't really know any of that. I'm sorry. You don't know anything of me. Shut up. I'm gonna go back and see if the um, Apple store is still busy. And then I'm gonna make another drop off to the van and come back in. She's got if she drops this off, she's gonna have four thousand dollars worth of shit in her van. Dangerous. All right, they look not so busy now, so that's good. So, um, I need 12 iPads. Again, what the f What? <laughs> Shit. Um, I need 12 iPads. You are out of your freaking mind, lady. Do all of your kids have homework? She just, so again, yeah, why lie? Just say you're buying your kids absorbent amount of shit and you don't care. Stop lying about why you're buying them because who, no one believes you. So you just made it. So you gave us people, you gave us haters things to talk about. Why lie? Harley doesn't have homework. Okay. Bodie doesn't have homework. Likely the up until like grade six, seven, no homework. What and what websites do they need to access? What an effing liar. Just stop lying, Alicia. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. Don't leave. Okay. Um, I'm not sure. Like, what are the difference here? Price and power. Um, there's, so there's a lot of different types. Okay. Um, um these are the new ones. So, I mean, so they're all going to be. No, they're going to put out the old ones in the Apple Store. Just put out the old ones. They're all new. Okay. All the iPads are the newest of their category. Uh, this is the newest iPad Pros. Okay. Down there is the no, new iPad. don't need iPad Pros. It's like two grand for an iPad Pro. And didn't they all just get iPhone 14s, which are literally as powerful as an iPad or more in some cases. So you did not need to get them all iPads too. Plus, don't they already have iPads? All of them already have iPads and Nintendo Switches and PS5s and PS4s and everything. They already have all this. Why is she getting them again? And they have phones. Across the table that's, generation. Yeah, that's the one I that's want. One yeah, okay. I write. Wait, how much is this one? Do you say ninth gen? The Pro. Uh, yeah, that was. Yes. Four forty nine per an iPad. Yeah. Please. Uh, hold on, because I need some keyboards. You don't need keyboards. There's one in it. They're gonna lose it. They're gonna break it. They don't need it. Not twelve anyway. Not it. No, maybe two or three of them. Two. Yeah, Alex, James, Nevaeh, Patrick, Deshaun, Rizoe. Could I get, um, yeah, nine keyboards? Nine. I think. Yeah. Let me think. Yes. Alex, James, Nevaeh, 
Patrick Dijon, Bree, Zoe, seven. Okay. Seven keyboards, yeah, please. Yeah, you got it. Okay. Let me see. I'm going to make sure you have Yeah, I guess, yeah, let's see how much you have you and how many you have. All right, let's look at some. Oh, my God. This effing woman. Okay, it's called the Magic Keyboard, and they are about... $400 for the keyboard! Oh my god! She spent $3,600 just on keyboards. We are now at, if she's just buying this, and I know she's not done, $13,788. And she's only shopped for a, for not, not even close to everybody. Don't get those. They're gonna get broken. They're way too expensive. Don't get those. <laughs> It's for real. Yeah, yeah, it's for real, bro. It's for real. And she gets to write this all off for her videos. I'm really buying 12 iPads, yes. You're such a douchebag, Alicia. Look, I get understand I understand Christmas. I get it all. But she's not like the here's the thing. You don't have to show everybody what you're getting your children. She's doing this as a big flex and a big F you to everybody. Look how awesome I am. Mostly for those people that she was friends with before all this happened. Now she's trying to show everybody how how big of a player she is. How good she is. Like, but in the end, again, we all see that a lot of us, are like, people can be jealous of this. And I know a lot of people are probably jealous of this. It does have, give, give people feelings of jealousy, which then enrages them. If I wanted to buy each one of my kids iPads, I could absolutely go in and to the mall and buy anything I want. I have enough money, we make enough money, that my kids could have anything they wanted and I would be okay. Okay, I'm not jealous, I could do this. I'm just not effing stupid, right? I want my kids to appreciate what they have and not just get everything they want all the time because I want my kids to understand the value of things, right? They work for things, they get, they do their chores, they make money, if they wanna get something special, they can get it. So don't come at me and say, oh, you're jealous, but I can understand why people can feel really, 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 you know, envious of her life. And that's just, ew, right? To make you, because you want people to feel envious of you. And this is her whole flex, showing the prices of everything, get it all like, <laughs> I don't know anything about shoes. Here's 10 grand on shoes. It's just, it's gross, especially during this time where everything, where almost every lower middle class, middle class and lower middle class family is just struggling with everything. She just doesn't have to do it. That's my, that my whole thing is go ahead and do it. You just don't have to show it to everybody, but she knows that this is going to get her the views. But if you look at this video and this is what I'm talking about right here, you want to know what pisses people off right here? 5.9 thousand down votes for 5.8 thousand upvotes. She's getting ratioed and I say mad ratioed because more down votes than up votes is a massive ratio on YouTube, even by one. It's not 50, she doesn't get a 50% like ratio. That's like a 20% like ratio in the back end when she sees this video. People are telling her this is disgusting. She's deleting comments probably by the thousands, by the way. This is disgusting what she's doing here. This video is gross given the economic reality of millions of people. Just gross. Let's hope the kids don't watch or sneak peek. The kids don't have to watch. They gave her the list. She's going to buy everything on the list. They know what they're getting already because there's no magic here. There's no surprises, nothing. Isn't, isn't the best part of Christmas is that your kid has been like pining for something. Like you can get them something that they, they probably don't expect. And then the surprise and the just adulation on their faces and the thankfulness. That's like the magic of giving for me. Is my kids getting that one thing? I remember when I was little and I opened up my Nintendo Entertainment System, I almost had a heart attack because we were like not rich at all. But we got that thing and it was because, and we got it like a year and a half after everybody else had already had it. But still, to this day, I remember that moment. These kids don't get any magical moments. And it's just sad. It's a case, so I'm actually gonna get 12 of these. Oh, Maybe I got that price wrong. All right, Apple iPad keyboard case. No, they are. 329 <laughs> so I'm keeping my price where it was and I'm being very very conservative in my estimate right now I don't know how to open it so that's fun super fun oh look at that yeah 12 idiot I'll look those you such you're such a douche you can buy cheap versions of those on Amazon instead of just buying cases this is a case it's not a case for kids though it's not and has a keyboard nope that shit's gonna get broken real quick yeah I'm trying to get up 
Okay, so they're gonna bring those out the back door to me so I don't have to like walk through them while carrying 12 bags. And uh, yeah, I'll go pick those up at their back door. And you're leaving after this, right? That's it. You're done now. You spent 13000 over your... We'll just round it up because I was conservative. She's already at $14,000. Here comes the snow. Nice shirt, by the way. You look dumb. <laughs> Couldn't find it at first. Woo! On account of... Um... She probably, you know, she does. She goes in these stores and be like, it's okay, guys. I'm a YouTuber. It's like, this is for YouTube videos. And then they oh, okay, cool, cool. Yeah, that's exactly what she says. Because I, otherwise, why are you filming it all? These people are, she's so. <sighs> the weather. Don't let it escape you either that this woman has, we know of, like 15, she's rocking home $14,000 worth of Christmas gifts and everybody knows her address. Everybody knows where they live. If you and Christmas is like one of the biggest times of year, like breaking enterings and people stealing tons of shit all the time. December is notorious for it. Also, you live in a state with a huge, huge crime rate. And you're going on the internet with adopted and bio kids at home, right? Telling everybody where you're gonna be at all times. Yeah, you maybe have some cameras, but if a thief wants fourteen thousand dollars worth of shit, they know where to find it. That's how dumb you are. You're silly. I think most of the rest of the stuff I can online shop today. It's the 15th, so there's what, like... That's all. I mean, I know that's expensive, but it's not a lot of things. Right? These kids, again, don't... It's so stupid. They already have iPads and iPhone 14s. All but two of them do. What are you doing, man? 10 days until Christmas. So if I Amazon Prime, it'll be here before Christmas. I can move my wrapping day. Okay, I'll just have to let Nana know. Tomorrow, so I could wrap everything because I thought I could buy everything today. But imagine too, you're like, okay, open presents, everybody opens an iPad. Okay, like I get iPads are great, but these kids, they're not gonna like it's again. There were some, there's no magic. They're gonna open it and be like, oh, okay, I already have one of these. Oh, this is a newer one. Okay, so what are you gonna do with the old ones? Why don't you donate them to like shelters and shit where kids, you know, give them to kids who are less fortunate than yourself? Now, Alicia might be donating a whole shit ton of money and shit in the back end, but I doubt it. But now that I've said it, you watch. Next video, she'll be like, look at all the shit we're donating to people. Because she does listen to this video. She does. Hi, Alicia, you dumbass. Look at me in the eyes. Look at me in the eyes. Stop being you. Okay? You are terrible. I'm trying to tell you this. Soul to soul. You are a terrible parent. Buying shit for people does not equal love. How about you're like, let's get them in the most important therapies with the most expensive doctors in our state. That's what you should be doing. Their futures are not bright and buying them shit doesn't help their future. Shoot, I do need to go to a gaming store. What for? No, I take that back. I'm gonna run to Target, which is right here. You're gonna leave $14,000 worth of goods in your van and run to Target. And where everybody knows what your van looks like too in this, where you live. They know you, you idiot. Yeah. You know what, she'd get robbed and she'd make a video out of it and she'd just buy all the shit again. That's what would happen. I'm gonna do one more store before I head home. Yeah, I can do it quick. Run That's what she said. Run out. Cause I gotta get some Nintendo um, Switch Switch. stuff. We used to have like GameStop and like video game stores. There's still GameStop and Game Stop. Just look. They don't have those anymore. Why are you? How are you getting views on your videos? Who is watching this and like, this is such, this is riveting shit, man. I mean, oh my God. Can't wait to see what happens next while she talks to herself on the camera in her van. This is a good comment here. Nice that they can be spoiled, but it puts so much pressure on families who aren't so fortunate and makes parents who are struggling to heat their homes this winter feel inadequate. Great comment. <laughs> and again, it's not on her. I get that. But there is such a thing as being, but there is such a thing as being a damned human. 
right? There's such a thing as being tone deaf and stupid and silly. And she's, she has no idea, or she does, and she realizes that this gets me paid and I could care less what it, what it makes me look like. But just, Alicia, hear me out, because I know you're listening again. You have no staying power, because all you are is a villain. No staying power. People watch you because you're a train wreck, not because you're interesting. And that does not sting. That won't stay. Look at Johnny K plus A. Everybody, all these people, and if she wants to be like Johnny Gate plus A, 19 kids and counting, they don't have staying power because in the end it all falls apart because it's built on lies. Okay? You don't have staying power because all you do is shop. People might get interested in, well, okay, I'm done with this after a while, right? You don't have any staying power because you're not endearing. You're not humble. You are a cocky asshole. I'm going to see if I have the horse stuff. It wasn't on her list. So she just left 14 grand with a shit in her van and just went to Target. <laughs> you idiot. That she wanted less baby stuff. Okay. Stroller. You have a stroller. Just give her one of those that you have at home. Bottle. A little towel set. A little crib. A little thingy. Shut up. Food set. Oh. Okay, I got the doll accessories. I'm not getting the doll here because she likes the reborn looking ones that are. Oh, those are weird. More like realistic. Yeah, they're creepy. Three dolls. All right, Harley wants some more Barbies. For her um, jewelry house. What's this cute little set? Oh, and it comes with Play Doh. Oh, that's perfect. Although, Alicia didn't get cool shit when she was young. That's why she does this. I don't want that one because it's all ripped. Oh, that's like an artist one. <sighs> How cool. $34 oh. for Barbies. Okay. That's. Uh, to Chelsea right now. Um, she already has that. Have you guys ever seen the Barbie show on Netflix? The end, like the CGI animated one. It's actually like good. I, I my kids used to watch it, and I'd watch it with them like this, and I'd be catch myself be like, I'm watching this show. It is actually good. There's humor for adults in it. It's really, really well done. I'm not kidding you. That's it, but maybe I'll get her like another. Chelsea and the other sister, Stacy Skipper, you know, whichever. I don't know. That was neither of them. It's not Stacy or Skipper. She wanted a mermaid, Barbie. Out of all of these, I think. Why'd you go shopping like two minutes before Christmas then? You don't, because you don't give a shit, Alicia. You could care less. This is Alicia and everything she does. There's no care taken into her cooking. There's no care taken into her cleaning, unpacking anything, nothing. No care taken into gifts. They're like, oh, it's getting expensive shit. You, there's no thought. There's no thoughtfulness, nothing. There's no, they don't have any identities. There's nothing special for each of the kids. Like, here you all get the same shit because I don't have time. But expensive, it's expensive. That's all that matters. I like that the best. He likes the Harry Potter ones. I don't know if I like that one. Oh, the train. Oh, yeah. That's 75. Here, that would be $150. I kid you not. It's like double price for Lego here. This. All right, Jason has been asking for one of these, so I'm going to get that for him. Those things are shit. Okay, Brie wants a hula hoop, so, you know, that means I got to get a couple because... They'll break them. If Brie has a hula hoop, other people are going to want a hula hoop. Oh, that lights up fancy. I hate this person. Okay, I'm just gonna get. You don't need 12 damn hula hoops. Alex need a hula hoop. She just throws shit willy nilly. Oh, here's hula hoops for everybody. Alex, like, thanks. I don't want a hula hoop, mom. You dumbass. I want expensive chain. The 12. Why did you get 12 hula hoops? Patrick and Deshaun want the sledding. Um, snowbirds. Um, no. Oh. Which one do we think is good? Uh, here's a quick tip: if you're getting a snowboard, don't get it at Target. 
get a secondhand one online, like a good one. People grown out of it. Go get them not shitty ones made of wood. Those are like skateboards, snow skateboards. Those are not good. Oh. Their name is Sports Stuff. That's not good. See, she puts no thought into anything whatsoever. If you're going to get your kids some, sh like, it's high quality electronics, sure, she'll get them that. But then it's coming to, this, they want a snowboard, then she's going to buy them a Target snowboard that's a piece of shit? Doesn't make any sense to me. That one, no. I think these are, these are good. No, they're not good. No. Like two of those. Nope. Okay. Bodhi wants a train set, and this is the only one I'm seeing. I have that train set, by the way. We get them at the bay. FAO Schwartz. Okay. Westy loves it, by the way. Okay, let's go over to the electronics department. Um, I was just glancing around the holiday candy and stuff. I did all of their stocking stuff or shopping online. I'll show that. share that in a separate vlog. All right, let's see what they got for Switch games. Now, Jason wants a Fortnite Switch, which... No! He already has a switch. I can't get in store. I gotta order that online. So because he wants a switch that has a little Fortnite logo on, you're getting him a different switch. They already all have switches. So we lost all of our Nintendo Switch games on our recent vacation. This woman is the worst liar on earth. Why do you lie to people with this face? Why do you lie? You lost all of your Nintendo Switch games. 12 of your kids have Nintendo Switch. Let's just say five, six brought them. Okay, you brought six Nintendo Switches. All of them lost all of their games? How? How? Why does she just say a thing and then, unless she completely continues to explain it, how? And then don't reward your children with the thing, like remember when the kids broke the TV with the football and she just bought another TV? Don't reward your children for not taking care of their shit. If you don't take care of your shit, that's on you. Sorry, I'm not going to reward you. These kids have no idea the value of anything because they'll just get another one with this face right here. Also, Alicia, all you have to do is get them Switch cards. They can download. It's just like an Apple store. You can download their games into their Switches so you don't have to buy cartridges that you can lose because clearly you're losing the cartridges. But you're lying to us. You lost all of your games? All of them? They get stolen? You're such a damn... Oh my god, this... Ugh. As a parent, this should piss you right off. I think everybody who sent me these messages... They're, some people are absolutely not even just like, Oh, you should check it out. They are absolutely livid at this video, what she's doing. She's just buying shit willy-nilly. She doesn't even know what games they lost. She's just making it up. She's lying to you. But here's what I don't get. If you're going to be a douchebag, be a douchebag unapologetically. Why do you make up silly little lies? Do you think it makes you look better because your kids lost everything and you're going to replace it all? No, that makes you look worse, Alicia. All you have to say is, hey, I'm getting them Nintendo Switch games. No one will say anything because, okay, that's a great gift. Okay, no one's going to say a word. Well, I thought they already had that game. No, no one's going to say anything. You lie for what reason? Why would you lie about it? I'm gonna get Kirby. Sixty dollars. Paper Mario, Origami King. No, it's all gone. Yeah, it's all gone. Uh, Obviously, it's all gone. You're shopping uh, one and a half minutes before Christmas. Yes, it's all gone. Uh. Okay, I'll give that one. No, you're just getting willy nilly shit that no one wants. No one's gonna play that game and you're about to drop 60 bucks on it. Please. And then Zelda up here. Holy Zelda shit, that's loud. And Fire Emblem. No. Oh my god. Yup. Uh, Luigi's Mansion. Yeah, Super Mario Party. Also, are you just buying one cartridge for each person? Because she's buying games that you need other cartridges to play. So if you're, if all of your kids have Switches, you're going to need to buy them all the same game. So they can't even play together. 
Did I get? I'll get that other Kirby too. The Kirby and Forgotten Land, please. I'm shopping, shopping. I'm shopping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are, you dumbass. All right, up here. Oh my God. This, this, the Zeldas. 50, 60, 60. Um, basically everything but Animal Crossing because we already got that. But you lost all the games. You just said you lost all the games. So you, uh... Do you have Madden? No. Madden? No Madden. Um, Not for the Switch. Okay, I'm gonna get these down here. What? Nothing. Uh, ah. Get the download card, it's cheaper. Okay. Oh wait, what's that back there? Ryan's World? Ooh, that, yeah, I'll get that one. Yeah. Dude. What? I'm back there. <laughs> Thank you. Minecraft. Atari? They don't play Atari, Alicia. Atari was, they weren't even in like, in their dad's nutsack when Atari came out. Okay, not even close. They don't, they're not gonna play Atari games. <laughs> oh, I gotta get that. No, you don't. I might play that one. And then the Sonic games. That's wow, they don't even have Atari. Um, Good. Okay, all right. Yeah. Mario Olympic games. Did we get Fortnite? Oh my god. We didn't get Fortnite yet. Fortnite, Mario. Isn't Fortnite free? Games. Yeah, plants versus zombies, please. Yeah, just need a switch. <laughs> yeah. No, you don't. Holy <laughs> shit. A switch light. Um, any color, it doesn't matter. Okay, I had to check out there for this. How many games did she buy? I don't even, I could, I lost count. Looks like there's like, honestly, 15 games. Stuff, and then I have to check out. How many games did she buy? So my conservative estimate is $600 worth of Nintendo Switch games she just bought, which brings her total up to about $14,500. Not including what's in this buggy here, which is probably another two or $300. Let's just bring it up to an even 15,000. For this stuff up front. But I wanted to get some Apple gift cards for the kids. Um, oh my god. Oh, you know what I should do is get... I'll get the 50s. No. One, two, three, four, five, six. So she bought $600. If she gets 12 of those, $600 of Apple gift cards. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I put these in their stock. Does Harley need a $50 Apple gift card? Does she? Does she really? Does Bodie? Do they need that shit? Games, 11, 12. $600, just like that. Oh my God. I didn't even spend that much on my little children each for each of them. And they got tons of shit. I cannot believe what I'm seeing. I'm thinking I should get one for their iPad as well. So we don't link our credit card to any of their devices because they just would like spend and spend and spend not realizing it. So we only make the Apple cards. So then when they run out of money, like they can't buy anything else. So yeah, I don't believe you. Actually, I'm gonna get these so that at least on each of their devices, they have the ability to buy, buy like some apps right away. You just did that. You gave them $50 ones. What do you mean? So she's adding 300 more dollars to that. Okay. Yeah. Dumbass. We're at $15,800. And probably more because I don't even know what all that shit's worth. Great, it just made us do four transactions. Thank Why? Four. Why? For the gift cards. Yeah, you bought, she bought $900 worth of the gift cards. I think we ended up doing like six transactions. I'm gonna have to look at the receipts when we get home. Okay, instead of a mall pretzel, I rewarded myself with a soda. <laughs> Reward yourself with water! Your liver needs water, your heart, your skin. Everything in your body is screaming for the sustenance of water. And all you feed it is coffee and Coke. Water! Well, some good shopping. You're a douche. Also, yes, I buy my teenagers things like crafts and hula hoops and some of that stuff that I'm buying for the little kids. Um, 
Because you know, don't. You're just about to spout some bullshit lie right now. Because you're stupid. You know what? I know I get like hate for it. Why are you buying a teenager on Hulu? Nobody hates you for buying your kid a hula hoop. People hate you for being a douchebag exploiter who just buys shit like crazy and teaches your children that nothing matters. That's what, no, you're not getting hate. What are you, are you saying people are hating you for buying a hula hoop? How dumb are you? I'm sorry, but hula hoops are fun for any age. You're a, you're, <laughs> you are so stupid and it hurts me. You are so dumb and you should feel bad about who you are. I'm so People are gonna hate me for a hula hoop. No, they hate you for buying $16,000 worth of shit on your first Christmas shopping trip. It's more than $1,000 per child. 42, and I'm still gonna try out a hula hoop, okay? I hope your hip breaks in six different places. There is no age limit on phone. Is there an age limit on being a douchebag? Honestly, they all wanted hula hoops after um, we went to the Big Apple Circus. Those hula hoops are gonna end up in the yard broken in the first half an hour. Not bad for four hours. This woman, this witch just dropped 16 grand in four hours. Holy shit. I have a van full that I have to get in the house before everyone gets home at three. Why? They all know what they're getting. They all know! They can just look at the video, you dumbass! Where are you gonna hide this shit? You have no room in your house because you buy so much shit. Like Josh can help me. I have to tell oh you all God. this funny story. So, oh, I don't know if it was two, either a year or two ago, we did this hilarious TikTok where we had a pizza guy. I don't even know why we did this. We had those purple morph suits and the pizza guy came, like literally the actual pizza guy delivering our pizza. And we're like, hey, do you want to be in a TikTok with us? And he's like, okay. Water. <laughs> like random, right? So we did that. Um, oh my gosh, what is that challenge called? Where like you have the... The first guy had I love how you tell stories. So I love it. Mmm, good story time. It's like my kid telling a story and it coughs right in my eyeballs. The horse head on and everyone's just standing there. And then at the end, it's like everybody's jamming out. Anyways, we put on purple morph suits and we did this random TikTok with the pizza guy. To this day, like a year or two later, my kids are still like, hey, when's that cool pizza guy coming back? <laughs> Like, they think that that's what pizza guys do. They come hang out with us. Anyways, ran it. Thanks for the shitty story. To him at the mall in the Apple store. He's like, I know you. It was really funny. <laughs> was it? Is that your funny story? That's your funny story. Let's recap Alicia's hilarious story. Okay, back in the day, right? We did this, uh, we had a morse suit on, and we asked the pizza guy to be in the video, right? Funny, right? And then, oh my God, I ran into that guy. Funny. That's not funny, Alicia, I'm sorry. If someone gives this woman a TV show, you should be ashamed of yourself. Ashamed. Anyways. Um, Anyways. I stopped looking at headphones because he said, just don't get those. And he told me a different kind to get, so I'm going to order them. What's better than AirPods? The kids all want, um, not all of them, but the older ones want headphones, like good ones. You just bought headphones for the trip, and they have AirPods. For their listening to their music. And that got the bear duty. Oh my god. It's not funny. Okay, I just got home, and Deshaun is home, so he's helping carry in stuff. Hey, Deshaun, here's all the shit I bought you. Come see it. <laughs> it's just one more thing she takes away from her kids. They don't even get to be surprised on Christmas. Like, the best part of Christmas, and she ruins it. I'm not surprised. We told him not to peek. Oh, <laughs> yeah, don't peek at the Nike bags and the 12 iPads you're carrying in. So, okay. Yeah. Get this all brought in quick. 
You're a douche, okay, man. Okay, I got it. That under control, and then make the snack board and online shop. Okay, here is the hot cocoa bar, charcuterie board, snack... Shit board? Snackery board, whatever you want. We call it a shark cooter board here. Call it that I made the kid. Cool. There's literally Fruit Loops on the edge. It's for their after school. No one eats candy canes. We'll snack today because of the snowstorm. Patrick's trying to decide which cocoa bomb. Ugh, I don't know, s'mores, I guess. How much you put in here? Not that much. <laughs> oh my god. Probably good. Also, ew, are you making hot chocolate with water? Ew, guys. You warm up milk. Are you really? What's wrong with you? It's like the 80s poor. It's like growing up in the 80s poor. That's what we had in the 80s. The Nestle. You put it in hot water, but you just do triple the chocolate. It's still gross. Use warm milk. Oh. Ew. It's okay. It'll work. These are peeps, but they're like Christmas. Ew, These peeps. Are Tostitos. Cool. Marshmallows and Tostitos. Great combo. What kind of shark board is this? These are Fruit Loops. Those are so good. Yeah, he's on the go. <laughs> Enjoy your hot water and chocolate. Uh huh. Yummy. 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 It's literally going to taste like cocoa water. Gotta put some creamer or something in it. Yeah, I accidentally ate these poor kids many candies when I was making the board, so I'm not gonna have hot chocolate right now. I know, because you probably got a claw. Oh, wow. Got a claw going. <laughs> what is your name? The more the kids are home. Okay, Wait, James okay. has the water for you. Yeah. You have to put the water in it. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> the water. Water? Yeah. Yeah, he's like, no, isn't it milk? It's but milk. It's really hot. You can't drink it yet. Ringo. You gotta, okay. <laughs> it's... This is how you know what Alicia doesn't come from anything. She doesn't understand anything. She didn't get any of this shit when she was young. She's just buying shit. You put the chocolate bomb in there and you do hot milk on top of the chocolate bomb. Then you let it mix and stir and like turn into hot chocolate. Oh, you guys bring yourselves here. Oh, oh. Can I play that game that like makes okay. broken? Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh my god, that's disgusting. Guys, what are you <laughs> It's gross! It's literally hot water with like shitty chocolate in it. How did it go? It just did it by itself? Yeah, mom, you, you need to watch. watch. Bloaties in it and shit too, I'm sorry. Ew. Yeah, that's not good. Just put cocaine on it, mom. Or dash. Don't use your finger. Let me see the bar. You already have it, okay? All right. Okay. Does that look good appetizing to you? I'm not really going like Jason's did. Jason's all of a sudden like popped out. Hmm. Oh. Ew. Wait, you want to do it again? Yeah, it's cracking up, Mom. Ew, she used her finger! Oh, no! There we go. Oh, Isn't that cool, Bodie? I like that. Now it just looks like toilet water. She's touching everybody. Yeah! We need to organize the Christmas presents. Okay, Bodie, you want to do it again? She has a lock to her bedroom, so no one can come in. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, that's the, the NFL thing they got. Um, and I wanted to give the twins their shoes. So did she not give them their iPhone 14s yet? And so they're gonna get iPhone 14s and iPads for Christmas. Basketballs. Nobody, if you have an iPhone 14, you're not gonna use an iPad. Holy shit. <laughs> No, they're at the best. Oh, she bought them basketballs and shoes for not even for Christmas. <laughs> Holy shit. Because I got to look at the shoes because I can't remember which ones I bought. Oh, wait. I bought you the same ones, I think. Yeah. You bought the white shoes? They didn't have your size in the all white ones. But... Are you cheating on your own? No. Oh, give me my bag. Excuse me. Give me my shoes! No, no, no. You, you, you made your bed, Alicia. That's who they are. That's your fault. That's who they are. They didn't have very many in your sizes, so. The kid in me who didn't get the Andre Agassiz, okay, just screaming right now. Like these kids. Oh, okay, cool. Thanks. Let's now. And they just throw it. They don't even give a shit. It wasn't very many choices. Oh, we got a basketball. <laughs> 
chair. They just got like two hundred dollars shoes. Like, hey, basketball. It that is heartbreaking to me. Cause the kid in me, man, this is like I know kids grew up like that were like this, and just like you envy them, you envy them, but they don't even give a shit. Oh my god, I'm not gonna do this. She's gotta pose it for a picture. This is the most important thing to her, is posing it for a photo. And a TikTok. That's it. That's all she cares about. Alright, I hope it hits you right in the noggin. Right in the schnaz. Right in your ugly sweater. See, I wear ugly sweaters because I'm being comedic. She wears ugly sweaters because she thinks it looks cool and it doesn't. Where do you even buy shirts like that? Stop it. Okay, Alicia. I said 12 games. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 26 games. She spent $1,560 on Nintendo Switch games. So we're at easily $17,000 right now. Gloves. I didn't, and I didn't even get the toys in there. Okay. None of them. Here's the current haul. Oh my God. Here is the online shopping. Okay. <laughs> Jason's Fortnite Switch. Patrick really wanted this um, set, but I could only find it on eBay. So I ordered that, looked good, checked it over. That will be coming from eBay. And then I went to this boutique site and got some cute clothes for Nevea. Um, because she's always our one running out of clothes before everyone else, before I get to the laundromat. So you just buy them new clothes instead of washing her clothes? And then I went on Wegmans and did the catering order for Christmas Day. We have a revolving door on Christmas Day. Our family all comes through. The Holy shit! Our kids come and visit. So we just have a ton of food that day. That all looks good. So let's say three grand. She's at twenty. She's at uh, twenty thousand six hundred by my conservative estimate. Twenty thousand. And she's not done. Okay, Josh is busy, so James is helping me really quick. What's Josh busy with? What's he busy with? What's he doing? What's he busy with? He's not busy. Sort these games because I don't know which game to give to who. Okay. So, Alex is going to come in and see all the gifts that you got him for Christmas, and he's not going to get surprised either? That's so great. You're such a great mom. You guys are so amazing. Right. This is, and again, another lie just uncovered right there. They lost all their games? How do you know which ones to get if they lost them all? Why are you lying? And again, it doesn't work when you play games like Super Mario, um, Mario Kart, and like games that are more than like the Luigi's one. A lot of these games are like multiple players, and they're not going to be able to play with each other because you need to buy multiple games of them. So he lost all the Switch games. So Alex is literally right in here looking at everything he's getting for Christmas. New York City. What an asshole. So now we need to... Can you hide some shit? Just bring the games over? You're so gross, have... Alicia. Or it's James, not Alex. Did you want Switch games? No. Oh, but not, you wouldn't want any of these anyways. Yeah, I'll get you. Your I own. can buy my own. Okay. So. Uh, with what money? We need to do Zoe Dash. So she just literally bought one of everything. It's like, hey, you picked up for some shit. This is, again, why, why lie? Why are you lying? Why are you lying about these stupid little things? Patrick Jordan, Jason Bodie. No, Jason has me. This is crazy. These kids can't even talk. You buy them one game for Christmas. One game. They're not gonna even. This is. There's so much coming at them that they can't. They can't even take a minute to appreciate anything. They're they're gonna be so overwhelmed. These kids come from trauma, right? They're already overwhelmed, and then you're overwhelming them more. These kids are gonna end up like you, Alicia, but they might not be able to make the money that you make right now. Likely not. Specifically, if you're not gonna let them go to college, like she said in her other chat the other day, someone pointed it out to me that they they're not. She's like, they don't need jobs. They're not going to need... Yes, they will need jobs. Does she think this is going to last forever? Everybody hates you. You literally get more down votes than, than 
You usually get more thumbs down than more thumbs up in your video. Everybody, there's 20, there are thousands upon thousands of people in your snark forums. More than anybody else, I think. Next to Trisha Paytas. You're not going to survive this. Deluxe on Bodie, maybe? Bodie. Huh. I don't even know. Oh, She's just, 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 you're lies, you're lies. I don't know what I got for. You don't know what games they lost. If they lost all the games, you write down which games you lost. Jason. But then don't get them again. Dashed it. I just don't get the lie. Why don't you just buy the damn games and not lie? I just don't understand the lie. Um, At least James is giving it away. Josh has that one. So they didn't lose their games. Why do you fucking lie about that? I know that's. For, I know I'm focusing on that for this, but why are you lying about stupid shit? Okay, um, hmm, that's a problem. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we should have animal crossing last. Who should go to? Um, Jason. Jason? Wait, now Jason has too many. <laughs> uh, probably, maybe Bodie or Zoe? Maybe? No, Jason's been wanting animal crossing. Yeah, so I'll get rid of one. So, wait. Oh my so god. Just Zelda, thank you for coming Christmas shopping with me today. You are strong. You are beautiful. You're a dink. You are loved. You belong. You're a douche dink. And I'm so proud of you. I'll see you next time. F off. I'm actually like fired up upset about this because it's first of all it's overwhelming for these children to get so much shit that they can't, they don't even know what to do with it all it's going to be impossible for them to know what to do with it they're not thankful she got them their shoes and they're just like oh throw them over here we got basketballs they don't care about any of this stuff alicia do better you're an influencer first of all you are going to make people feel bad about themselves even though i know it's not your responsibility but you have a, like a, a duty almost if you're going to be out here and every you don't get alicia don't forget that you don't get paid unless people watch you these people pay your bills these fans of yours. And by the day, thousands of fans are turning on you. By the day. Because you're not responsible. You're, you're not a good parent. You're terrible at this. You're greedy and disgusting. And you're teaching your children very bad things. Your kids do not value anything. And when Deshaun and Nivea, and when Deshaun and Nivea go home, if they do go home, they're not going to be able to have this lifestyle later. So it's got to, you're just not careful. You just don't give a shit like anything you do. Nothing matters to you. Just the flex and the conversation on your chat where people are just calling you out and you deserve it. Does she buy four for the sake of it? Yes. Yes, she does. Wow, now James can seal the presents. Won't it ruin it for him? Yes. Yes, it will. I watch another family. They know true meaning of Christmas. They get their kids uh, gifts for want, need, wear, and read. One gift for each. I think it's a perfect way to teach your kids the meaning of Christmas and the value of gifts. Alicia also thinks she's a Christian, right? Okay. Not not this where they just get stuff endlessly. Do better. Out of control. Your kids can't appreciate anything because you get so much. You can totally see where the, what, which kids are your favorites. Spending all that money on kids doesn't make you a good mother. That's true. Makes you a shitty mother, actually. Buying your kids shit doesn't make you anything good at all. Unless you're a grandmother or a grandfather. That's different. <laughs> did Alex really write expensive chain? <laughs> yes, he did. Because it doesn't give a shit. It doesn't have to be, it just has to be expensive because that's all that matters. That's what Alicia is teaching her children. Is it expensive? Oh, okay. We'll judge people by that. Lost all your Switch games? Good grief. Then buy something practical that makes sense, like a case. <laughs> yes. But hey, you have the money. Go replace those little $55, $65 games. I don't have money to waste, so therefore I take care of my shit. That's right. I think these kids are going to have a reality check when they move out of the house. These kids aren't going to move out of the house. They're not going to be able to. And then once you see her start like responding, you know that everything above that's been deleted. She's deleted thousands of comments. So head over to Dockerty Snarkity if you want to see more. There's a big thread on this at Dockerty Snarkity. Just people just livid at Alicia. And Alicia wants you to be. She's doing this on purpose. It's all calculated. Okay? And in the end, the kids alone to suffer. Alicia, you're an idiot. Do better. I mean, drink water. Please, for the love of God. Everybody take a deep breath. The snark today it was a long video, but she's this woman and then she's not done. You know it, but I'm not the one thing I'm going to say though, is that Wegman's order looked so good. I wish we had Wegman's here because like Wegman's food is good. I just sub there. Oh my God. It's good. That's all I'm saying. But, uh, damn, you guys were right. She's a dish, but you guys are not. And you're amazing. And hope Christmas is going well for y'all. Watch all the Christmas movies, spend time with family, cozying up with some hot chocolate with hot milk is what I'm going to do tonight with my kids. It's going to be great. We're watching Home Alone 2. I'm so excited. Make sure you remember that you need to be here. You are valuable and incredible. And I will see you tomorrow.